What's up, guys and gals, and welcome back to Party Hard 2, where we are kind of chilling right now, waiting on targets to pick off. Uh, I think that this lady and this guy look like really, really good candidates. I don't know if I can put more bodies inside of there. It's probably getting pretty full. I'm running out of body storage on this side of the map, but, you know, I'm kind of a kill-them-all type of person. I don't like your face. There's always that guy at the bar. There's always that guy at the bar just standing around mean mugging, looking for trouble. Just waiting for something to happen, but that's why we keep bouncers around. Some people have like a, some people have like an altercation set mindset about bouncers. See, I like bouncers. Bouncers are, are they're there to make sure that the party stays safe. Oh, I can actually like blend in. What? I can dance? I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, you're not gonna make it, lady. I hate to tell you, the phone is not over the. Uh oh. We got a, we got another bystander. These bystanders are becoming an issue. I gotta get rid of them. The container is full. Yeah, I figured it would get that way eventually. Uh, put the bodies down. I'm going to have to wipe this guy over here too. And this guy. Can I put these guys in the trunk? Yeah, let's put them in the trunk real fast. Hold on, I got to get some stamina back. Alright, so the bodies are hidden in the trunk. Basically, I just got to guard this spot right here. So that nobody comes back here and wipe anybody that comes back here. Because this is the proof of my shame. All of my sin... All of my iniquity has been put on point over here. I have a hand grenade. Can I just, like, throw that over there? That was pretty rad. I'm pretty happy with the way that went down, but I don't think we actually killed any. But we only got three of them. Wasn't too bad. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'll put that body inside of there. Hopefully, I don't get found out. But yeah, our meter is filling up pretty rapidly from all the popo coming around and like looking and trying to find what we're up to. Hopefully they don't come out in this, that container's full too, okay. All right, so we'll drop the bodies, I guess down in this little area right here. Yeah, maybe nobody will notice. Like there is a flickering light right there. I do wish that I could put it out, but we've kind of thinned out the party pretty good right now. Like there used to be a lot more people over here no longer is that the case. What are these crates? Like, what are these? Open it. Oh, it's a lighter. Okay. So they're like little loot crates, I guess. If this dude doesn't turn around, we can take all three of them. And then we may be able to get the drunk guy over here, too. Alright, so we got him. Got both of them. Let's go ahead and bounce out and, like, go to a different area. Like, I don't think there's anywhere else that I can hide bodies. Like, I'm doing my best over here. But we're kind of, like, running out of places to hide stuff. Get both of them. We got two dealers over there. I don't know how I'm going to get these people off the dance floor. But we're going to have to figure something out. Yeah, play the next track. I want to I wanna be the DJ. That's everybody's dream nowadays, right? Is to be like a DJ or something? Alright, I'm going to try and be a DJ. I'm going to be like... Every, every. If I flush the toilet, do people like come investigate it? Like, what's the point of flushing the toilets? I don't understand the point of it. Maybe it's just like interactivity or whatever, but like I don't know what the function is there. I'm going to have to figure out a way to pick off people inside of here, but I don't know how to do it. Oh. How do people not notice me just like lighting fires in the middle of this place? Apparently, it's considered very, very suspicious to be lighting fires inside the uh, club. Oh, there's a guy over there. Okay. I'm going to go over here because the police are running around trying to find that body over there. They haven't found any of the ones around the back, though, so that's probably good. I... I don't know what our best course of action is. I'm all out of storage spots for a lot of the bodies. Although I guess we could hide people inside those dumpsters too. But like, that's kind of a busy thoroughfare because it's like the exit to the club. So there's a lot of people coming out of there being like, Woo! I'm so wasted right now! And so like, I don't... I don't know what I want to do with that. 
We've got people partying back there. Am I allowed to come back here? Got him. I don't know the combination. How do I get le combination? Can I hide him in the locker? No, I can't hide him in the locker. Okay. Well, nobody called the police, so we should still be good. I'm just going to move all the bodies back over to this side so that we've got a nice clear area. And then that one right there is flagged for a police pickup, I think. I still don't know how I'm going to get people off the club floor. Like, I need to get them out of the club. But I think we'll figure that out a little bit later. Wish that I had more stamina, dude. My stamina is awful. Who knew that serial killers were so emaciated? Got, like, iron deficiencies and stuff. Is she cleaning up? I think she's cleaning up my, my spots right now. So those people are facing different directions. If that guy goes inside, I may be able to get all these people. Maybe. Got him. I gotta get the bouncer, too. Hmm. Don't worry about me. You don't know anything about me. I'm not the killer. I'm just that same guy that's at every single party you get called to with a bunch of murders. That's all. Oh, they body bagged some of them. I wonder what the function is of body bagging some of the dead guys. Like, I'm going to move these bodies into the dumpster so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. Sorry to say it, but you gotta go too. Seemed like a really good opportunity to get rid of the bouncers, so that's what I'm gonna do. That guy's just standing over in the corner jiggling his nuts right now. I have no idea, like, apparently that's what he does at the club. He just hangs out and jiggles them nuts. Now we got four people left that we gotta get rid of. Kind of a problem. I gotta get these people off the floor somehow. But like, I'm so far into the level that I don't want to make any mistakes and have to redo everything. And so like, I think I'm just gonna bide my time until they start to move around a little bit more. Apparently he's trying to drug deal right now, so... Let's just wait and see what happens. Well, I got everybody inside. It worked. We got that dude too. Uh, I think the police are probably going to get called in a minute, so let's go ahead and scarp her real fast. Uh, we got to kill one more person, who I think is over here, and then we can take the money from the safe. Oh, we got a guy sleeping in a toga over here. Yeah, let's get rid of him, because the cleaning lady's probably going to call the cops. There we go. So everybody's dead. I didn't get the money from the safe, and I didn't bribe the punk, but we did kill a lot of people. So that's pretty cool. Like, we burned people, we killed people, we, you know, did some pretty gangster stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like our police presence is kind of going up. Well, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Bedlam at yet another party. Why did he choose this place, Dr. McBride? The pharmaceutical company, APO Inc., from which my patient was recently fired, was throwing a company party there. Who was he looking for? Darius had only one friend at work. His name was Archer. They said on the news he had been hospitalized the day before the party. That must be why Darius headed to the hospital. That night, the doctors at North Genesis Hospital were on strike. So party animals took the place over for their next shindig. If only they knew that, for many of them, it would be their last. Apparently there's a bear at this party, and he's got himself some pretty rockin' Ray-Bans. 16 days before the interview. The interview with the killer? Like, the, the interview with me? Am I getting famous right now? That's a water jerry can? Alright. Oh, maybe I can use the water jerry can if I set off, like, an electrical explosion? Maybe I can use the water jerry can to channel it all over the place. That might actually be how it works. Alright, so here's the party over here. Did I electrocute myself? 
I electrocuted myself. Yeah, that's the problem with playing around when you don't have the proper electrical acumen, is that you might end up giving yourself a little bit of, mm, a little bit of rewiring. Okay. I didn't expect it not to work like that. I mean, I kind of expected it like a little bit, but you know, like, eh. One thing at a time. So we've got a storage barrel over there. It looks like we've got backroom access. That's like a military guy right there. Did that guy just punch my head off? Oh, I stabbed him to death while he punched my head off at the same time. It was one of those bad netcode type trade things, you know what I mean? Like Escape from Tarkov style, or like Call of Duty style. You know when you kill somebody at the same time as they kill you? It's never satisfying. It's never satisfying ever. This dude, he's like at every party just like hanging out, itching his nuts in his nippleless suit. So we've got to don't scare off targets or kill them all, examine the block room, get past the guards with an ID, resurrect a guard. Okay. We'll go ahead and light up the hookah real fast. I don't know if I can do anything with some of the other stuff we have over here. Break that valve. Just like fish out what kills we can. You never know. We'll just kind of clear people a little bit. Yep, break the valve over there. Couple more people down. Break that valve too. Man, there's a lot of really, really faulty kegs around here. That's super unfortunate, man. Drinkers shouldn't have to fear for their lives just because there's faulty kegs all over the place. I mean, now it's the medic's job. Yeah, you probably should do that. I still don't understand how, like, the incognito thing works at the top of the screen. Like, I know that when it fills up, I become wanted. So maybe I'm, like, not supposed to be killing people at the rate that I'm supposed to be killing people. I don't know. I honestly have no clue. Who is this person over here? Kill the targets? Okay. Oh, I can just, like, drive over people if I want to. Okay. That's probably a good thing to be aware of. Yep, there goes another one. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. No! Alright, I'm just gonna stab people. It's not over! It's not over! It's not over! It's over. I got hit with a billy club. It's very much over. We'll try again. I just gotta find the opening. Like in the last level, it was that side alleyway that allowed you to pick off like 15, 20 people first, and then you get to do all the other stuff. Oh, that guy had the key card. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could throw these guys into the air conditioner. Yeah, I vaguely remember being able to push people into air conditioners. Like from the first game, you could hide bodies and like grind them up inside of there. Yep, exactly. I have a I have an identity card. So I'm allowed to be back here. Like please don't beat me with your high grade military weaponry. Wait, I had the ID card. Why did he why did he knock me out? I had the ID card. Maybe he's some kind of security. Maybe he's not specifically like guarding anything. I don't know. I thought that he was looking for a key card or like an ID card or something like that. Uh, a little sketchier this time. Let's get the key card. I'm going to grab that real fast. Oh shit, no I'm not. They saw the dead people. Never mind. I'm just going to take my identity card. So where's the back room? Let's go to the blocked room real fast. Is this it right here? This has got to be it. I think I'm allowed to be here. Maybe. Maybe this isn't the blocked room. Is this the blocked room, maybe? I don't know. Apparently, I killed somebody without even knowing I was killing somebody right now. I just got combo times one. All right. 
Well, let's like explore a little bit and figure out like where the hell it is that we're supposed to be using this key card at. Because I think that's like the biggest thing that I personally want to know is like what is the key card useful for? I want to do the bonus objectives. Oh, it slides that way. Okay, I thought maybe it was going to flip over to the side. Oh, he's got a key card too. Man, we got lots of key cards now. All right, another dead guy taken care of right there. I didn't know if anybody was going to see that, but I figured I'd go for it. We'll go ahead and put the body inside of there real fast. So we got Path the Guards with an ID. We need to resurrect a guard, though. So examine a blocked room, resurrect a guard. Okay, so I guess that was where I was supposed to be. It triggered the quest event or whatever. And we got a guy sleeping back here. What's going on upstairs? Nothing. That hallway seems like a pretty good place where I could like actually give people the old shivity shivity if I need to. Shiv shivity, shiv shivity, shiv shiv shiri. A shiv is as lucky as shivies can be. All right, well, there's two more down. We'll go ahead and, like, drop bodies back up in here because I don't really have, like, a storage spot for them. So hopefully, like, nobody comes back here. If they do, it's problematic. It's not perfect. It's definitely not a good thing. I can push the wheelchair. Yeah, do that. Apparently, wheelchairs are, like, the height of dangerousness. All right, you guys are dead now. Sorry. I did that live on camera because I'm an idiot. You guys go back down into this corner. You're kind of nervous. I have bad news, man. I have bad news. You should be a lot more nervous. Wait, what? Hmm. Well, I mean, I was trying to kill him, but apparently he's knife proof. Like, how is he knife-proof? Like, I don't understand how, like, some people in this game cannot be knifed. Like, they'll just be, like, normal people, like, cleaning ladies. And I'll be like, so why can't I stab the cleaning lady? Like, why is that not an available option? Just saying. Like, cleaning ladies don't strike me as being particularly knife-proof. Mm, can I poison any of the food? I'm not lost. I'm getting my ass whooped, apparently. All right, well, I guess drop me back out here, I suppose. Maybe I'll ride the motorcycle for a little bit. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I was trying to get on the motorcycle. No! Control failure. Control failure. Too many inputs in one spot. There was a dead body. I was trying to get on the I was trying to get on the motorcycle. Don't judge me. I'm gonna try the water can idea again. I like the water can idea a lot. Like if I could like shock everybody in here, that'd be hella crazy, right? Oh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough. Alright, so break the speaker and drop that. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Don't hit me. I've been immolated, everybody. I've been conflagrated. It hurts. It hurts so badly. I mean, on the plus side, they caught the party hard killer. I mean, we're playing as a serial killer right now, so, like, every time I die, I'm not really that upset about it because, like, I'm stabbing innocent people over and over and over again. All right, there's a couple down right there. I'm just going to keep it small for right now. How about that? Can I get there without being seen? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got a couple more people coming out this way. A few more sexy nurses walking out. I want to know, like, what police jurisdiction this is where you can just take over. You can just, like, take over a hospital and nobody seems to be concerned about it. Let's get rid of her real fast. She is beginning to grate on my nerves. So I'm going to have this AC unit, like, grate on her bones. All right, couple dead people. 
We still haven't found a doctor or anything else like that, so we need to find a doctor so we can whack them and get the identity card. Once we get the identity card, military guy's coming down this way, so let's maybe not play around with him right now. I... Is there anything I can do with the helicopter? Like, what's up with the helicopter? Let's go look at the helicopter! Maybe I can do something rad with that. No? Can I throw this guy down the manhole? I can? Oh, nice, dude. Oh, I can't throw him down the manhole. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go back this way. I'm gonna put him inside the AC unit just like everybody else. Everybody goes inside the AC unit! Looks like it's time for dying to get cool. Puts on shades. Yeah! Y'all done messed up. You gotta stop giving me these easy kills. That's one for the AC unit. There's another dead lady laying out in the street next to the attack helicopter. Really kind of hoping we don't get caught on this one. I hope that sound of the phone is definitely inside the game, too. Like, not inside the game, but I guess I hope that's not environmental. I hope people are not calling the police right now, because that would sucketh. Like, I know that I'm probably supposed to shock this entire area somehow, but I don't know how to pour the stuff over on the speakers without zapping myself at the same time. That's been the big problem that I've run into. That worked. Now we got our key card. Now, well, you know, we've killed a couple of people. It's not going like perfectly well. Like medics keep coming over here. I don't know why. Well, you know, let's get the hell out of Dodge. They can toe tag all those bodies as much as they want. So, like, getting to that guy, I don't know how to get him. Maybe, like, throw a grenade in there or something? I don't know. We'll have to give it some thought. I think the cops are about to leave, so we should lose our meter pretty soon. I hope. Yeah, there it goes. Whew, just in time. I was going to say, we're pretty close to getting caught right now. I don't know how to get around that, but should probably figure out a method. I can reanimate a body? Uh, yeah, do it. So, like, I've got, like, a zombie homeboy now? Oh, shit, yeah, dude. Hell yeah, what is that, a condom? What is a condom going to do for me? I don't know. I gave the condom to that guy. Can I resurrect this guy too, or is it like a one-time only thing? One pumped up dead guy is enough for me? Okay. That's fine. Oh, he saw a dead guy. Apparently they unanimate, or maybe that's a bug. My zombie is going to call the police right now. Hello, police. I think I might be the living dead. I need help. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. That's okay. I probably... Well, I don't know if I would call the police if I was an undead zombie. I'll be honest. I feel like they might do something bad to me. I don't know. Dead guy's over there, so... Oh, I missed. I was trying to get one of the cops. You get a bunch of points for getting the cop. I gotta run from that police guy back there. That muscled up dude right there is a problem. I think he's like on me right now. Let's go see if there's anybody we can whack over here. Eh, anybody feeling the need to die? There we go. I'm going to sabotage a whole bunch of kegs. Put the boombox over there for a second. Doesn't look like there's anything going on right there. Maybe I'll just wait this one out. 
Like, I don't know where military guy went, but military guy is a problem. Although on the plus side, military guy is not knife proof. So like, among all the things you have to worry about, at least the military guy can't be stabbed. What is this over here? A hookah? Okay. So that's a hookah. We got like a little cigarette lighter, trash can thing over there. All right. Like a little cigarette disposal platform. My name is Splattercat. This is Party Hard 2. I will see you all later. We're out of time for the day. Thank you for stopping on by. It's been a blast. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. This is the release version. If you wanted to play the game for yourself, you can get it down below in the description. How you doing? Take care.